One of the first videos that I made on this channel was me learning how to do the muscle up, and ever since then I've been wanting to get better at and clean up that particular movement. Well, I've now done that. My name's Swithers, and for the last 80 days I've been learning the clean, strict muscle up. Just over a year ago, after not training properly for a couple of months due to COVID, I decided to buy myself a pull-up bar and I set myself the goal of learning how to do the muscle up. And after about two months of training, I managed that goal and managed five full muscle ups. The only problem with them is there was a lot of kipping. I was absolutely fine at the time, but since then I've been wanting to make my muscle ups look and feel better. So in the middle of April, I finally thought it's time to properly work on my muscle ups again and try and clean them up. Now, what the hell does cleaning up a muscle up mean? Well, for me, that meant A, the muscle up had to look easy, and B, it had to look good. So this meant keeping my legs completely straight and not kipping too much, so not swinging my legs loads. So I knew the technique and I set my goal at three clean muscle ups. The first step towards achieving this goal was learning how to do this new technique. Just getting one muscle up with really good clean technique. The last time I tried a muscle up it looked like this. So obviously there was a lot of work to do from this point. So on April the 18th I had my first attempt at clean muscle ups and this is what it looked like. When I did this attempt I thought I'd done it. I thought I'd cracked the clean muscle up first time, everything was perfect. It was only when I watched it back, I realised it wasn't really that different to the one before. My legs were still bending, I was still kipping. I'm not entirely sure why it felt different, I think I just told myself in my head that it was better. Tried again a couple of days later, same sort of thing. I thought I was doing it right, but when I watched it back, it was still completely wrong. So then I went away and decided to do a bit of research as to what I needed to think about to get these clean muscle ups. I took a look at a couple of resources online and the main thing I took away was that I needed to keep my core tensed and keep my legs tensed throughout it. So with these tips in mind, I tried again. And this attempt was much better. The muscle up actually looked pretty clean. I was actually managing to keep my legs straight, however there was still quite a bit of kipping, but overall this was a big improvement. So once I got the technique down, it's nice and easy. I just need to get better at doing more of them. So all that means is I had to do some training. So my specific muscle up training was on and off, I probably averaged about two times a week specifically for muscle ups throughout this entire 80 days. But each time I tried for those three strict muscle ups, I kept failing on that third one. I could get two really good ones, they felt nice and easy, but I kept failing on that third. I just didn't quite have that muscular endurance to keep the technique for that third rep. But after a whole bunch of training, I finally got this attempt. Now. I wasn't sure after this one whether I wanted to count that as, you know, the challenge complete or not, as there was still a little bit of kipping, it wasn't completely clean. However, it was by far the best attempt I'd had so far. Because I wasn't completely sure with it, I decided to do a bit more training and then come back to it in a couple of weeks. And when I did finally come back to it, this is what happened.
And that was it. I'd done it. I'd not only got three strict muscle ups, I'd argue I got four. And I also got a fifth muscle up, which was not clean at all, but just, just a nice bonus rep. Can't go wrong with that. I'm very happy with the stage I've got them to now. As I, I think the muscle ups, they look how I've always imagined them in my head. Now, along this journey, I have picked up quite a few tips and tricks that help me out. Tip number one, when you start pulling for the muscle up, look upwards at the bar. I wasn't doing this to start with, and it doesn't put your body in that good of a position to get yourself around the bar. So as you're pulling backwards, if you look up at the bar, I found it's way easier to pull in the right direction. Tip number two then, is when you start the pull for the muscle up, don't pull straight upwards. If you pull straight upwards, you're going to be trying to pull yourself through the bar. And obviously you can't do that, the bar's solid metal. So for the first part of the pull, make sure you pull backwards and upwards. So you're kind of pulling yourself underneath the bar. This generates momentum in the correct direction for you to then get yourself up and around the bar as opposed to up and through the bar. And then tip number three is something I did mention earlier that I found super, super useful. The only things to focus on when you're at the bottom of the rep are keeping your core and your legs engaged. Keeping both of these things engaged keeps your body in a much better position. And an added bonus of a muscle up looking better is that it probably is actually better technique and it's working your muscles better as well. Anyway, this was a super fun journey and I'm really happy that I've done it. Please comment down below if there are any particular skills that you think I should learn next. If you have enjoyed this video at any point, then feel free to drop a like and also click that subscribe button and that bell icon. These things really do help the channel and give me really good motivation to keep making these videos for you. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.